the True Tech troubleshooting tutorial. Today I'd like to explore how to do calculations using radio buttons in Adobe Lifecycle. And this whole concept was spurred on by a client who had a particular problem with a form trying to average out some numbers based on radio buttons. So here I have um, a basic form with something like a survey where you have a question and then a series of radio buttons that correspond to uh, 0 through 6 values. And then at the bottom I want to total the score and average the score. And so I start here because I want to show you exactly how working with radio buttons can be cumbersome but also simplified if you do a few things. So I've set this question up and I called it radio button list here, question 1 and then 161514 for each of the individual radio buttons. And I did that because I want to keep straight the values of everything but also because I want to be able to copy and paste this so I don't have to reset this up every time from scratch by dragging a radio button in from the hierarchy multiple times. It takes a while and it's cumbersome. So I have my my first one here and I have this red X so let's deal with that first. This says invalid radio button group and what this means is the values of my radio buttons are not unique. In other words they're all they've all been given a value of one. And the way I can see that is I can highlight the whole radio button list go to the object tab and then the binding sub tab and you can see how every one has a value of one and that's the default value when you drag a radio button out of the hierarchy or I'm sorry out of the object library it's given a value of one and so in order to change that we need to come to each one and change the value double click type in the new value and then the red X goes away once you have unique values in every field alright now that I've got that set up correctly I want to take that and just copy I'm doing control C on my keyboard and then I'm gonna control V paste it three times alright and so now I have the question one radio button list three times in my hierarchy or three extra times and notice how lifecycle assigned an, an automatic sub number to each one to differentiate between the two and we don't like that makes it harder to deal with so I'm gonna go ahead and just change these and that makes more sense now one problem that happens when you do cutting and pasting is it brings every value over and so in question one we have one six one five now in question two we have the same name and really to make to make this better it should be two underscore six and that would be cumbersome to change I'm not going to do that right now alright let's copy and paste our question and of course you could easily make up your own questions and change these I'm not going to do that today but you could make these questions various different things so that your survey would make sense and now we want to deal with getting these totals and averages to come down we've already got half the battle complete because we've assigned these values to each of the radio buttons and that carried on when we cut and paste to each radio button list and now we just needed to programmatically deal with that in these total score fields and total average fields so what I want to do is I want to go to each one first starting with txt total go to value and I want to change the type here to calculated read only what this means is a person can't change this this is calculated by lifecycle behind the scenes and it can't be changed I'll do that the same for here All right. also you notice here this radio button is clicked calculation script and what that means is I don't want to calculate it with some kind of properties I want to calculate it by using a script and so that's going to require a little bit of scripting so let me bring in the script editor and let's go to the calculate event 
that's the event that will automatically fire then behind the scenes of course we want to assign the value so we're going to say raw dot, this dot raw value equals and then we want to assign it the value of all four of these fields added up to make our total and so we have to reference each one of them by typing out their name question one dot raw value we'll add that to question two dot raw value and so on okay so we have our total done now let's check and see if that worked fair warning it's not going to work but I want to demonstrate okay well it actually did work but it didn't work like we wanted our total is 6654 and that looks odd but if you think about it it's not odd if you're thinking in strings instead of numbers so 6654 6654 lifecycle didn't know that I wanted it to add numerically it just thought I wanted to add the string together or concatenate and so if we change this to 4 the first one goes to 4 3 2 1 or if we put 0 in the end 0 so how do we do it to add numerically instead of concatenating a string well that's another tricky little thing we can quickly solve by using a function called parse int and so parse int the parse int function is a JavaScript function that takes whatever string value is in between the parentheses and assigns it as an integer and so the raw value of question one is a string value of six or five or four or three or, or so on we want to parse int in other words we want to place this declaration inside the parse int function in order to get an integer value so we have to do that for all four and I'm just cutting and pasting and then I'm putting in my closing parentheses and I have my semicolon at the end alright let's see if that made a difference so until we have our whole our entire survey filled out we don't get a score once we have our entire survey filled out then our score comes in alright what about average well that's just a simple bit of math based on txt total so it would equal txt total divided by four we don't need to do the parse int here because txt total the value of this is already a numeric value because this is a numeric field you can see by the icon here the pound sign stands for numeric field so there's no need to do parse int on this one let's watch it happen now uh oh there must be a problem in our code because we're not getting an average well what could that be let's look let's go back to txt average and go to our script editor and look here we have txt total divided by four but we forgot to say raw value and so what we did was we said give the object the object itself divided by four and that's not a number that's not anything we gotta put in raw value alright let's see if it works now so our total score is 15 our average is 3.75 let's test to make sure that's right by going all sixes see what happens and that's it six so you can see this can be advantageous if you want to use a survey type application in lifecycle or maybe even a test score well I hope this concept helps you design better forms of course always send your questions via YouTube comments or the blog truetechtroubleshooting.com and we hope to see you again next time thanks